How's it going, everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're doing another weapon review of one of the new Forge weapons in Destiny 2. It's for Verse 4, and it's called the Machina Day. And it's a pulse rifle you get for grinding the hell out of public matches and, and PvP matches, and eventually we'll get this unlocked. This is a pretty solid pulse rifle, I'd say. Uh, the perk on it, it's one of those, well, first of all, it's one of those high impact ones, so it's a, uh, you know, high damage, low fire, lower fire rate kind of uh, pulse rifle. And that, uh, you know, PvP, this weapon works all right. It's it's more, if you're going to use it in PvP, it's going to be kind of like, you're just trying to mix things up a bit. Uh, plus, pulse rifles aren't really in the best position right now. Um, but this weapon is definitely tuned more for PvE, and I say that because the perk on it is, uh, what is it called here? Let's check it out. The perk on it is called uh, Ambitious Assassin. And what happens is that uh, overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. So you can actually get more what more ammo into your magazine to kill a whole bunch of more ads. So this weapon is definitely tuned for PvE action. And it does a rather decent job. Uh, so, and this has a pretty high recoil. So kind of what I like to do is uh, reduce the recoil as much as I can. Um, if you are going to put this into your uh, PvP rotation, this is actually a decent choice because it has, boom, high caliber rounds on this thing. So it get, get, get you the extra flinch view kick on your enemies when you're shooting, which always throws off the shot. When you're playing on console, it really affects their shot and help, potentially help you win gunfights. And I do believe it was actually nerfed uh, recently. And so it's not going to be as great, but high caliber rounds is great even in PvE because you'll, you'll be knocking back guys like, uh, 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 kind of stuff like that. Uh, but the thing is that the perk on it is obviously Ambitious Assassin gives you more ammo. And so the more uh, double kills essentially you get before reloading, the, the more ammo you get back. So actually what I like to do is run with Appended Mag, which increases your magazine size. Uh, the other perk on there is Tactical Mag, um, but... It's it's a little bit better stability if I roll with that, but I feel like uh, play to play it to its strengths and the perk on it is to give you more ammo. So start off with more ammo to get more of those quick kills, and so that you can actually add more ammo to it. So it bumps up your uh, magazine up to 36. Though I've gotten up to 52. I think it's probably I think it's the limit when it comes to uh, as much ammo you can get into the magazine. So you get 54 bullets in your in your gun, which is freaking awesome. It does a great job of killing ads, and it's actually a rather decent weapon. I highly suggest picking it up and using it, uh, especially if you're doing like PvE stuff. I'm the, you can probably see in the gameplay right here, uh, I did jump into, um, what was it, the uh, beginning of the raid, where this got bumped up to 300, so you can see how well the weapon does against level 300 bad guys. It was a couple, I think once or maybe twice, I got up to 54 bullets. A lot of times it was, um, Maybe like 47 in the magazine, 44 in the magazine kind of thing. So you still get a quite a bit of ammo, which is great. And, I, you know, it's actually a pretty good gun. I really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun with it. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what you think of this weapon. You think it's actually a pretty good one. You can bring this into the uh, raid layer. You can bring it in kind of as one of your go-to PvE weapons. I think it actually might be for me. Plus, it just looks freaking cool. Kind of looks like the Stranger's Rifle, which is pretty fun on that one. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Uh, if you want to subscribe, stay tuned to the next weapon review, more Destiny 2 content, some Halo 5 content as well on this channel. And anyways, guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.